So this is what five crews going in the field looks like. Still absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful fish. I love that one with the orange nose. The fountainscapes that you could do with the stack slate urns, more of the spillway bowls. Every garden center should have this. And then of course, there's still things to draw you over. <laughs> that is very cool. For a little small little bubbling For rock. For example, this is an 11 by 16 pond with all the bells and whistles, ion gen dosing system, extra labor figured in to get super artistic with the waterfall creation. This in January 2011. Well, you actually remember. Yes. So it's been running for 10 years. Yes. And it looks good. Oh, look at all the little petals. Yeah. It is the end of the season. Who was just knocking? Huh? Someone was just knocking. Somebody in here? Yeah, Martha! The kids absolutely love this water feature. Like, right. They play. Oh, she found him. Look. <laughs> Did you find him? <laughs> So this is what five crews going in the field looks like. What an awesome operation. I'm not sure how many acres, they've got nine acres here. But over 20 guys, every morning they get together and figure out who's going where, and then they leave this operation. And it is as impressive of an operation that I have ever seen any certified Aquascape contractor. This is how you become a top customer. You have a phenomenal team, you have a well-organized oiled machine. Just super impressed at this entire place. Weston, we ready to go see some ponds? Okay. State College. Awesome, buddy. I love my job. So did you build this one too, Weston? Yep. How long ago? 2011, 10 years. Okay, so it lets everybody kind of come in here that works here over at Tussie. You see, and for them, it starts off their day, right? Living the aquascape lifestyle. Boy, cool. is this tree grew here from a seed all by itself. Are you serious? Yeah. What is it? It's a Dawn Redwood. Oh, beautiful tree. That's yeah. a great tree too. Yeah. Yeah, wow. That's like six, seven feet high. Right? Well, and I love the horsetail in here. Yeah. I mean, listen, look at how natural. I love horsetail. That looks. I mean, it just it just kind of seared itself too with some of this moss in here. Just you know, little horsetail falls in there. I mean, just look at how absolutely gorgeous that is. So this is uh, really really cool. Oh, this is all put together right out here at the entrance to their shop. I love it. just a drilled boulder and then a whole basin underneath here. But man, that tree just seeded itself on its own right there, and it gets the perfect amount of sun and the perfect amount of water. Pretty cool. Beautiful Pennsylvania. So where are we at, buddy? <laughs> That's nice. I Make like it. <laughs> so where are we at, buddy? We are at the distributor for all of our job site products. So Aquascape, Hardscape. We're here on all these displays that we've built over the years to give customers a place to come and imagine right. and envision something in their own backyard. So how many total displays does Tussie have over here? <laughs> over a dozen. Okay. And they're spread over an hour, hour and a half circumference. You know, there's a lot of them. And every one of them has one of these mature holders with contact information we have our dream book in every last one of them we spent a lot of time a couple years ago coming up with this so the people get a perspective yeah all right so did you build all these yeah matt and i and whoever else i think dan maybe helped on this water feature here this was probably back in 2010 or 11. yeah it's so been here it's a long time 10 years plus yeah, or so uh -huh. yeah but i love the design of it even today like it's not like it ever gets old like the design of it with the stepping stones is awesome yeah that's very nice very nice and the fish are so friendly. Beautiful fish. I love that one with the orange nose. Yeah. That is an awesome fish. Got the bubbling rock. Yeah. That same. Boya. Beautiful. Just gorgeous. Creeping Jenny. We got a wetland filter over here. Upper pool yep, to it. Yep. So this is just filled with the bio balls or what? There's a wetland up there. Okay, so up there's the yeah, wetland. Yeah. yeah. Wow. This is gorgeous. And I love that it's a display for people to come out and see. Koi crunchies. So, hey, let's do a shameless plug. All right, there you go. Get Aquascape these. Aquascape koi crunchies, the then, best way to train the fish to eat out of your hands. Then you can take this and you can hold on to it, right? Here comes the fish. <laughs> 
<laughs> I can't wait to see this at my house. Was this the first display pond you put in here? No, not the first, but it's the oldest. Meaning like probably every two to three years we come in and do some revamping. So this is the oldest one that's here right now. You know, I was telling you earlier today how I can look at a water feature and kind of like tell you what era we built it. Based off of the style. Yeah, it's hard to articulate. Still absolutely gorgeous. Over there on the back side, which we'll go over and look at, what we did, we took a whole area. We did a lot of work to come up with these pond kits that were designed to make it easy for people to Good. look at and decide and pick what they want and know what it's going to cost like basically a catalog we're not putting all that decision on the customer so here we've got our yes. little spillways instead of telling the customer oh we sell these we say like hey we can do two of these with the aquatics with the dosing system with everything for 200 bucks and then a customer's just paging through a catalog or in person here at these displays saying ah that one's too small i really like that one and then right that's what they, that's what they buy. so you so, probably send a lot of customers here first oh yeah like actually the consultation process often starts here oh wow look at this display over here yeah you remember that one yes you built that one the spring that you did the testimony so this was how many years ago now four at least more right like so just all the different fountainscapes that you could do with the stack slate urns more of the spillway bowls drilled rocks everything. small fountainscapes and lots and lots of chairs here in this island area is a category of water features that we call the simplicity series meaning like they don't come with lights they don't come with a stream the waterfall just perched right on the edge of the pond basically if you're a budget shopper just looking to kind of get your sure. feet wet this is where you start you start at 6500 bucks with a small seven by ten pond you still get the fish the aquatic plants it sounds but you you're in the hobby you're, yeah, in the you're in the hobby, hobby fully you just don't have all the bells and whistles yeah. Yeah, not bad it's very important that you're very transparent and upfront with the customers to what things cost that way people just want to know sure you know which is fine yeah, yeah. I love it. You still got your fish down there. It's a little goldfish pond. Small bio falls is doing a good job keeping it clean. This is the kids' playhouse that they put in. They actually sell these. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah, they're pretty awesome. And then, of course, there's still things to draw you over. <laughs> that is very cool. For a little small little bubbling little rock. rock. So if you want to have a little kid's playground and put a little bubbling rock, or this is perfect for a little bird, get a little bubbling rock in here. Tiny little stream on the Aqua 45 basin. But so natural looking. We literally built this thing in four or five hours, you know. Another pond. So now we're starting to upgrade a little bit, yeah. bigger features. This is the largest water feature in the Simplicity series. It sells for 10.5. It has an eight foot stream on it. So it's a 10 by 14 pond with the eight foot stream on it. And over there is the same 10 by 14 pond without the stream. Yeah, hey, I love this giant chair. The beach chair. So many cool displays. Every garden center should have this. So there's our signage and our branding for the Simplicity series there. But wait, there's more. Yes, there is. <laughs> the reason we kind of came up with this a couple years ago was because as we got more and more advanced with our water features we used to have one set of kits one menu right one uh -huh. pond menu and we kept like upgrading that upgrading that and putting more and more labor in all the bells and whistles and it got to a point where there was a persona of customers that just didn't want to spend 30 grand on a water feature yeah. so we developed the simplicity, simplicity series, series and then the premier collection for example this is an 11 by 16 pond with all the bells and whistles ion gen dosing system extra labor figured in to get super artistic with the waterfall creation all the weathered limestone boulders which cost more because of the shipping right. this 11 by 16 pond with a 10 foot stream sells for Thousand. Yep. And notice this, Greg? The yes. water coming up right behind the. Yep, with the paver wall. Perfect place for the goldfish. Up, guys, and a koi. Wow. I love this water. <laughs> out here it's the pod guys that's out here climbing Absolutely. around the water features good to see you greg so the younger brother of steve that's right okay so how many years is this for you operating this place uh, we've been here since 99 that's a long time 22 years yeah. and how many total display water features do you have here on the property yeah well there's probably about six plus a number of waterfalls individual features like things like 20 25 so yes like and then yeah. of course the bubbling boulders and also yeah. the other items <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
So right at the entrance, the Fountainscape kind of welcomes you in. This water feature is actually one of the first Haskade bubbling water features we put in. It's kind of experimenting with something and it really took off. Yeah, because people love it. Yeah, so it's a most popular water feature because you can put them just about anywhere at any front door, entrance, patio. Birds love them. Birds love the sound of moving water and the shallow areas, like a little area like that. Perfect for a bird to land on yeah. and drink that water and, and take a bath. And then gorgeous pondless waterfall right here. I mean, this is just water feature heaven at this place. We built this in January 2011. Well, you actually remember. Yes. So it's been running for 10 years. Yes. And it looks good. Oh, look at all the little petals. Yeah. It is the end of the season, and that is just nature. Listen to that sound. Oh yeah, right there. See you next year, guys. Green eggs. I love all the fires here. It's a very inviting place. Now you guys, I'm assuming you guys did the outdoor kitchen and the hardscaping yeah. here too? Yeah. Man, look at this. Feel the heat from that. That is nice. And then more water. Hey, you got the new spillway. Fire urns. Yeah. Look at that. The best of both worlds. How gorgeous is that? We'll actually put a link to this product. But just spectacular. That was new this last year. I love the glass in there. I mean, how cool is that? I love how ridiculously clear this water is. Because it, it's all underground, not yeah. exposed to the sun. Yeah. But yes, it looks like it's not even there. It's like Lake Tahoe. Yeah, that's a good analogy. Boy, what nice displays that you have here. What a beautiful garden center, buddy. We need more places like this. As a manufacturer of equipment, which is my primary business, I love when people can see display water features. In fact, I would recommend never hiring a contractor, even a certified aquasives contractor, unless you actually see their work. Visit their houses. Almost every certified aquasives contractor lives with a water feature. Visit their showroom. Visit their past projects. If you're gonna invest the money to get a water feature, make sure you see the workmanship of the person that's actually doing it. Certified aquasives contractors, almost to a person, are living the aquascape lifestyles, and they will let you come over to their house or their showroom or visit one of their past customers and that's the best way to see the competency of a builder so when we have public places like this that exist it's fantastic for me as a business owner to come visit them and see how they're showcasing what the lifestyle is like and the quality of the workmanship that goes into it i love my job all right, last stop of the day. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're home, right? <laughs> okay. Who was just knocking? Huh? Someone was just knocking. Somebody in here? <laughs> yeah, what the heck? <laughs> You're hiding from Oshie. Are you playing hide and seek? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I heard, who's knocking? <laughs> What's up, buddy? What's up? <laughs> Last time you came in 2017, I didn't yet have a water feature. Look who's coming out to say hello. Hey, sweetie. This is what it's all about. This is as good as it gets right here. Yep. Oh, is that just the most adorable face ever? <laughs> You're right there, too. I'm going to call you with the beautiful eyes. Super adorable. How long have you had this water feature? In the uh, front? Four years now. Okay. I built it just before you came the last time. Okay, yeah. I was a motivation to get it done, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, I didn't quite get the motivation to get the other one done before you came this time. So you have to come back. Hey, where's Chase at? Where's Chase? Hiding. He's hiding? Do you want to know where he's at? I think I know where he's at. I'll tell you if you're getting warmer or colder. Colder, going away, going away. No. <laughs> no? Do you know where Chase is? He knows what no is. The kids absolutely love this water feature. Like, right, they play. Oh, she found him. Look. Did you find him? <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is so classic. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh you got your hands full yeah, literally it's, it's <laughs> what do you like about your water feature up here do you play in it yeah what are you playing in? boats you get in it you get in it yeah. with your bathing suit on maybe or maybe not <laughs> <laughs> what's really cool is when we build it yeah. everything chased in he's a little older than this guy he went up to the bathtub got his little toy plastic fishing rod and came out <laughs> <laughs> he might be casting for a long time buddy notice how it's only at the top of that large urn got a really sunken look 
my bracelet. Yeah, that's gorgeous. So that's just the last section. It's not buried, it looks like it's buried. Yeah. And you can see the kids playing. That's what kids do with water. Do you have any frogs up here? He catches frogs all the time. So this is what greets everybody that comes to your house. Right here. And then eventually, yeah. the goal is to get one in the backyard. Let's go check that out. What I want to do, I want to build a cannonball approved six foot deep pond. Yeah, so a rec pond. Yeah. It's not going to be very huge, maybe like 30 by 30 or something like that. With a waterfall. Well, that 30 that by 30 is pretty big. Yeah. With a uh, waterfall going up that bank. And then I want to do a glass koi window. Oh. Right Oh, here so from the house, yes, you'll be able to look right in from the house. Look right out here, and you got a glass koi window, just like you did at That's the sandbox. sandbox studio. Yeah. That would be beautiful. Basically, the water comes right up to the edge. When you're looking at it from inside, you look across the top of the flames and this gas fire pit right into the glass window. When's that gonna happen? Next year? <laughs> Why not next year? Cover a while from this. <laughs> yeah, because this is brand new. This is only got done this year, right? Yeah, that was yeah. your COVID project. All right, so we got a future recreation pond going right back here. Look at that woods right behind it, and that's going to be absolutely gorgeous and perfect for the kids. Oh, yeah, they'll you love You think it. you know a pond guy that might want to help, you know, do it? So should we come back, let us know, should we come back and do a build a pond day at Weston's house? I think that might happen. <laughs> yes, sweetie. How do you close the light? Close the lights? No, how do you fix the lights? You don't have to fix the lights. They're working. <laughs> Which lights? Hey, pull my finger. <laughs> <laughs> the editor puts out of I love my job. <laughs>